Greetings, Keechlings. Keech Prime here with my live reaction of Four Nights of the Apocalypse, Chapter 163. Alright, uh, correction to myself. Thank you, commenter. Uh, I said Mort Latch was the father. <laughs> uh, Deodora, I'm an idiot. Anyway, um, yeah, I'll try not to make that. I don't know why I thought that. I guess both weird names. It's like, they must be related, said the two, you know, uh, brain cells in my head. <clears throat> but anyway, so the battle has begun. Just big old battlefield clash on so many fronts. Let's see here, whirling and the uproar. So, who are you, kid? Uh, letting yourself into someone else's home didn't your parents teach you anything? Sir Ironside? Dad, what's gotten into you? <clears throat> what is going on? Taurus. Or turret? Ross? Take this child out at once. What? Dad? Is something wrong? Oh yeah, because he's possessed. <clears throat> quiet you I have no son that I know of yeah all of their humanity and everything's gone for power your father's acting odd you say forgive me sir for occupying your time with matters like this no it's fine Ironside has concerned me for quite a while now oh he's a serious man one dedicated to his mission I'm sure he has broken the mind of your father his obsession over the repulsive four knights of the apocalypse claimed it so deodora we're learning what transpired after the uh deal with the devil as it were <clears throat> the winner of this event will be granted any wish by lord uh beltrepe my my wish is to return my father to normal i know lord uh Beltrepe can do it. And so, I must win here, no matter what the cost. <clears throat> are, are you Deodora? You're just... <laughs> and, oh god, someone came up with a whip and is doing some weird actions there. Oh, and a guy swung his sword as well. Wait, are they the ones that are with Deodora? I'm not sure. Are you hurt, sir? No. Okay, so he has at least two bodyguards with him. Crush them all at once. Yeah. Salvin? What the heck? There's like a pool of something? Oh, it's an invisible frog or something. Because these guys got batted away, and now that I'm looking at it a little more clearly, it's a footprint. Look out. He's casting magic. No. These are the souls of life spirits. Oh my god. Another person that can manipulate life spirits? They're alive. Wow, tough. Okay, so even your, like... Like, magic blade got chipped? <clears throat> okay. Let's see here. Considering it kind of looks like a frog footprint, but he said, like, it's a like a cluster of them, I'm wondering if they were tadpoles and they, knowing their collective strength would be greater than their individuals, they bonded together and they assume the form of their adult, you know, progression. As they probably died as tadpoles. <laughs> uh, which then makes me wonder if that guy actually killed tadpoles. Psychopath. Um, but anyway, so more clashing. Huh? What's on? My gear's all heavy now. Wait, it's growing. Okay, so weird effects are happening. <coughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so random things is that it seems like people's helmets 
are altering either their density or their size, which is kind of cool. Um, let's see, Misty Rain, Chicken Ma Matango. Whoa, it's a giant. Oh, so this is his potion he wanted to try out. <laughs> so, uh... He's infected people to the point where they're hallucinating, or... They, oh my god. It's not that the weapons got bigger, it's that they got smaller. <laughs> that drug will last about an hour. Enjoy being tiny until then. He's a poison gaster. Cover your face. Get that guy. Oh dear. Um... <laughs> oh. Well, Percival came for you. Percival. <laughs> Kind of got blown away just now. Uh, are you okay or hurt? Nah, just fine. But are you alright in a sense? Y yes. You know how Anne and Donnie are doing. Uh, we lost tra uh, yeah, lost track of each other in this uh, Farkas. Is that Farkas? I don't know. Anyway. Uh, did something happen? Yeah, <laughs> An, a sadly fated meeting. Let's see here. Hmm. No, nothing at all. He's trained him. Hmm. For now, let's just focus on being among the final 16. You said it. <laughs> As he goes to defend himself and just little flicks with the finger is all it takes. It's ridiculous how powerful he's become. <clears throat> well, let's see here. Well, it's not so much his power, but it's what, or that he's become powerful. It's how his power is used now. Okay, so we got Anne, and she's she's holding her own good against multiple opponents. Just showing her swordsmanship skills have improved greatly. They were already really good, so. It's good that she's becoming an expert of her craft. And I'm sure she's probably using her magic power a little bit. But if they're not answering, then I don't know how she would be able to do that. Come on. They just don't let up. She's real good. Let's all jump her. Look at you guys. A bunch of men ganging up on a single girl. Don't any of you find that shameless? Uh, here we go. There. Oh, we're going to get her using her magic. <clears throat> oh my god, one of them didn't. He didn't think it was shameless. What the hell did you do to him, girl? Ew, you're the one who thinks it's shameless? <laughs> We're bad guys, you see. Okay. No matter how villainous you think you are, what do you really want is to suck all mommy's teeth again, huh? Okay, that was a very weird way of... And more of them went down. Oh, fuck. Damn. I feel so heavy. Mom. <laughs> oh, God, this is weird. They want it that much. <laughs> She's... Oh, sneak attack from behind. Why you... Ah. Oh, an assailant from his back. Wait a minute. You look vaguely familiar. Hmm. That was a close one, Ad. Wait, you know who? I'm on your side. I came to assist you in the fight. I don't remember asking for any help. Who are you even? <laughs> no one uh, worth remembering. What does that mean? Wait a minute. No, I wouldn't think so. Also, they look way older in the first panel they're in, but in the second panel, they look a, a quite bit different and younger looking to me. Hmm. Oh, well, apparently they thought they uh, were worth remembering. Can you stop acting cool and give me your name? Really, who are you? Okay, so we're going to get that reveal. Boris? I don't really remember you. Wait, is that the guy that turns people into babies? No, wait, he died. Never mind. Um, 
course. Who the heck do you uh, did you go to Camelot? Yeah, <clears throat> did you go to Camelot with? Wake up. <laughs> oh, no, I don't know who this is. <laughs> uh, oh, now what do I do? Um, yeah, more people are coming. You waste so much. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Okay, so people are. Oh, well they they've been exploded. Um. Now, what was that big explosion? What's going on? Don't ask me. Oh, crap. Someone's using water magic now. And it's basically suffocating them. Uh, tight... Tight scrape, huh? You were part of Leonis's weakest core, after all. Wait, who are you? Wait a minute. Wait... Hmm. Hey, is that, uh, is that how you greet me after all this time? Oh, wait, is this, is this, uh, Isolade and, uh, Cheon? That would make sense, right? Because, like, the fire is probably her landmine, or the explosion, and then the water is the, uh, Forget what the name of that one was. What was it? Mermaid or something? What was the name of that spirit? I forget. But anyway, and also the fact that you're, you know, mentioning the other cores and stuff, it makes more sense. Also, the woman is way taller than the dude, so yeah. Right, right, I'm sorry. They're manipulating water, which... Yeah, that kind of looks like the spirit now that we're getting to see a look at it. I don't remember it being in a bottle like that. <clears throat> but wow, I'm sure glad you're safe. You, Cheon. And you too, a solid day. Okay, so Cheon got a, uh, a scar over his eye. Alright. <clears throat> New outfit. Looks like a completely different person, let's be honest. And uh, a solid day looking nice like genuinely looking nice a way better outfit than what she had before <clears throat> but that seems to be the end of the chapter okay yeah I was never a big fan of the bow her armor was eh, you know it's like random armor is random but um, but yeah far better outfit for both of them, actually. Um, Chion's was kind of alright, but eh, I just, it was kind of basic. Though this one's basic, but it fits him better. And then the mysterious, you know, eye scar, you know, every anime's gotta have one. <clears throat> so, uh, I imagine that was probably when they tried to free their liege, Tristan. That would only make sense. Um, but him having his uh, water spirit in a bottle, I don't remember that. So maybe this is a different one? But I don't think so. It, it has to be, what was it, Mermaid, Leviathan? It was like a generic water name thing. Like, Earth was, uh, like, Gnome. And then you had Salamander for Fire. Sylph. Or Seth. I think it was Sylph. Uh, for the Wind one. And then Water being something to that, like I said. So, <clears throat> but it being, like, in a physical form in a bottle is kind of interesting. I don't know if that's, like, it's manifesting more into, you know less of a spirit and more into maybe an elemental like that would be kind of cool um like i don't know exactly how spirits level up per se but hey you know if it's like becomes physical and then it's like now that it's a physical entity it can maybe then combine with other aspects of its nature so like say if uh someone had some water nearby or there was a lake and then he unleashes it. Not only can it produce its own to an extent, 
it can then merge with that and just become even more powerful, you know. <clears throat> um, so yeah, that's what I would think might be the case. So we might have all of them in bottles now. Like Sylph would be just like a little whirl. Uh, the salamander would just kind of maybe be baking the freaking glass. <laughs> um, and just it'd be covered in soot. To the point where you don't even know what's in there. Um, Gnome would probably just be chilling in there. He'd be like, you want me to bury the bodies? Again? Fine, let me out. <laughs> uh, but yeah. <clears throat> so, a decent glow up for these two so far. Showing off a lot more power than they previously had. And I mean, at least for... Uh, Isolde, like, we saw what her explosions kind of do, but I think this is way more of an attack than what we've seen from her before, so, nice. Chion, like I, I've already discussed, um, yeah. So, they met Tristan a couple chapters ago, and now we're meeting up with the rest of his, uh, core, and, uh, yeah, I'm kind of wondering what the heck <laughs> like I know they would be there but then there's also why would they even be allowed like I'm, if one of them wins will their wish be like totally deferred because it's like no you want a free Tristan guess what you can't do that <laughs> Uh, you know, it kind of goes against the whole thing of, like, it then increases the chances of them being able to fulfill the prophecy, defeat Arthur, all that good shit. So it's like, I don't think Beltrape will do that. Uh, now, as for the whole Ironside plot and Deldora, or Deodora, that's interesting. Wasn't expecting him to essentially be like kicked out of the house and he's got like two bodyguards that seemingly have some interesting abilities from what we know um <clears throat> or at least the one that we've really seen um so that that's an interesting telling of what you know likely is happening to both families of the two that made the deal with the devil ironside kicked out his son essentially and God knows what Pelagard did. Um, I mean, his son was already dead, so I don't see him really being able to do much, but we'll see. Um, and then, you know, cool ability from the one of uh, Nisean's new potions. But uh, yeah, I've rambled on long enough. Uh, let me know your own thoughts and opinions. Anything I missed, misunderstood, please let me know down below. Uh, links down below for all my socials. I'm part of the One Punch Man podcast on Grim Reaper's channel, so go check that out. And as always, later days. Until next time, Kishlings. Hmm. Is Holiday's kind of hot now. <laughs>